Hey, what's up everybody? This is your boy Isaac. And this is your boy Bryce. And of course, we're Brothers on Tennis. And folks, we are here at the City Taste of Tennis event for World Team Tennis, y'all. It's about to be popping, y'all. Bryce, what you see, man? Man, it's good. It's good. We're seeing tennis players come in. We're seeing coaches come in. We're seeing good food come in. And you know I'm looking for the food, right? Come on now. Come on. So it's going to be a good night tonight. Uh, really looking forward to it. Yes, I am so looking forward to it. we got a uh, great chef in the house and a lot of really wonderful things that are about to happen so y'all stay tuned it's about to be popping here we go again all right brothers on tennis here we have the spectacular bethany maddox sands bethany first of all come on now give it give it to us give it right, to right? us come on now Listen, I you are looking love awesome love an excuse to dress up <laughs> like don't get me wrong i like my fashion on the court but uh -huh. i loved having events like this yes food drinks dressing up come on blue carpet yes has my name on it you i'm are, always going you are looking like you're a fire I let's just call it right there <laughs> smoke you. fire boom it's 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 Thanks. insane you can follow me around anytime just like yeah <laughs> just, just, keep, give me, just, yeah, just give me that energy <laughs> as i walk into any room i'll take it uh, so please tell us that we are here at the city taste of tennis event how how have you been associated with this organization you know what i've actually i think i've been to every single taste of tennis event in all the cities that i've been in miami been in new york city been in dc all right. i love the concept just I'm a, I'm a big foodie at heart so i love this concept Whenever I travel, I always take time to enjoy the local cuisine. I love when we can get chefs together yes. and try it all in one location. I've actually met a lot of chefs um, with this event that I've kept in touch with. And whenever I'm in those cities, I go back to the restaurants and visit them. Nice. But right now I'm here. The main liquor sponsor here is Kimo Sabe Mezcal, which I am a part owner in. And right. uh, so if you haven't tried okay. it, you need to make your way over to the booth. We're gonna we'll, we'll, have a sip. we'll have a sip. Come on together. now, me okay. and you. Let's, let's, yeah. let's get a little, a little sippy, taste. Sip, yep. little taste. I got you. I got you. It's nice and smooth. <laughs> It's perfect. Before we hit all the food dishes, I am loving it. it. I'm okay. loving it. And Bethany, I know, like I said, we'll let you get to the event. How is, how is everything just in general with you? general with you? How is tennis coming along? <laughs> How's your 2022 looking? I mean, how are you? I you, thank you for asking. Yeah, like, I, I, know, I, I, right I, I appreciate that. I, you know what? I'm doing really great. I, you know, I think. Um, if I think about the last year, it's definitely had its ups and downs. Like I've had some yeah. great results. I think some of the bubbles during COVID were a little tough, you know, not having fans for a long time. Yes crushed my soul a little bit trust me like I love the crowd energy I love playing in front of fans yes. so once that kind of started coming back into play I felt like this year got a little bit better but uh, you know what I'm feeling really fresh you know I'm 36 right now and I feel like 36 is the new 23 All right, I'm, come I'm on. ready for 2022 I know some people ask me questions you know how long am I going to keep playing like I've done some TV mm. work off the court stuff right, right. Uh, which I'm definitely going to do but I'm on fire for 2022 I'm feeling inspired physically I'm feeling great mentally I still got the passion so you can expect to see me at the having a full schedule next year. See, that's what I'm talking about. We have seen you on TV. We saw you commentate. You are fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. you. I know love what? it. For me, and I'm pretty sure for all of our listeners and viewers out there, we want to see you on the court because you bring fire <laughs> to the court. Ex no, listen, I, I feel like now. I'm not finished on the court yet. That's so right. I know the TV uh, career is waiting for me, but you guys will find me competing next year. So uh, that's what I'm talking about. I will about, be there. Bethany. I will oh, be there. Thank you so much. It is such a pleasure <laughs> to you. see see you to meet you again fire thank you thank and you. you you keep doing what you do i will i will thanks right. for bringing the energy i appreciate it absolutely thanks yes. so much bethany awesome. see you guys so we have here listeners mr darian king uh from barbados correct and i think i recently heard that you were the first atp player from Bar barbados to win a match on the atp tour correct yes please yes please uh Great hard work that I put in. Uh, I'm really happy that I'm here, obviously, to, to represent in the World Team Tennis again. It's always a pleasure to be here and to be alongside with all these great players. Uh, just to showcase our talents in front of these people down here. So just can't wait to, to the upcoming event. Now, you were just telling me a few moments ago that you're coming back from injury and you're, you're getting back on the tour. How has that been going? Uh, it's been a struggle. Um, obviously, I've been off of it for a year and a half. Um, I played for the last four months. It's been pretty tough, but obviously it's just a setback for a setback for a major comeback. Um, I've been working very hard to get back towards which where I wanted to be. Um, before I was ranked 100 in the world, and now I'm 300. But obviously things takes time, and nothing to rush. Um, have a whole career ahead of me, and just hoping to to get back out there, being healthy, and participating again in front and doing what I love. 
One more question. So is this your first City Taste of Tennis event or have you attended others? Uh, no, I, I attended the one in New York, if I recall. Yes, we, uh, when I qualified for, for US Open. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, at that time, it was a Bajan cuisine there, okay, uh, so I tried to get familiar, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> to be there uh, with the guys because obviously I'm from there. So it was right. pretty exciting that they had the opportunity to come to be here at City at the World Team at the Taste of Tennis. And right. I mean, yeah, I'm just happy, as I said, to be here and to, I'm here now to try out some different foods and stuff and obviously to associate and, and greet some people. Right. Well, look, enjoy your night. We really appreciate you talking with us and good luck on your comeback. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good night. Thank you. So good people, who we have with us right now is one of the coaches from, one, from the teams here at World Team Tennis. And it is, I have just learned, as of this year, the most tenured coach that we have in World Team Tennis. We have JL, and I'm not going to let him beat me for butchering his last name. Diego. Diego, okay. So welcome to the City Taste of Tennis event. How are you enjoying yourself tonight? Yeah, it's great. It's great to be back in the desert. I mean, uh, we haven't traveled for 15 years. I've been back in South Africa. So uh, that was interesting. It was a long trip from South Africa okay. out here. It took us f uh, 49 hours to get here. We had one or two lay layovers, delays. So it was a hell of a trip. But it's great to be here. I mean, we're loving it. And desert is such a beautiful place. And, you know, World Team Tennis has been you know, uh, so part of my life for the last 22 years. I mean, the, it's, you know, it's, it's a great three years of my favorite three weeks of my of my year. So I really enjoy it. So, can you your team this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, Mackie uh, McDonald, you know, he's our number one guy. He's had an incredible year. You know, he jumped up the rankings. So we're very excited to have him. You know, uh, in the double side, you know, Marcelo Arbolero, he's like 32 in the world. He's a great player. He played last year. He's, it's exciting. I mean, he's got a lot of energy, and that's what you need in this format. On the women's side, Katie McNally. I mean, she's had a you know she played for us uh, last year. She's had a great season in doubles. She made the finals of the U.S. Open. You know, and then we have Asia Muhammad. You know, that's going to play doubles for us as well. I mean, she just won a 125. So it's exciting. I mean, uh, you know, over the years, I'm um, uh, you know we haven't had always had the, on ranking the strongest team. But right. you know, one of the things that I you know pride myself is you know to get uh, teams together. And you know, and, and help teams that are maybe on paper is not the, the greatest, but have the, the best team effort, team team spirit. Right. And yeah, we, we were fortunate over the years we've done well. So hopefully this year we can do well again. Well, I tell you what, I love hearing about Katie McNally. We both come from Cincinnati, Ohio, so I'll be rooting for her yeah. for sure. Uh, but Asia Muhammad, you know, I've been really impressed with her doubles play over the last couple of years. Kind of hated that she had to break up that partnership with Taylor Townsend because it looked like they had something yeah. good going on. Have you ever coached Taylor? No, we haven't. I mean, I've just I've been on the receiving side of her kicking my butt in team tennis. You know, over the years, I mean, she's been such a valuable player in world team tennis. Right. You know, she's very talented, especially in this format where she can play singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. She's mm -hmm. done great. And yes, yeah, I agree with you. You know, Asia and Taylor had a great doubles combination. Obviously, with Asia playing in our team, you know, I did. A, I mean, I've watched her and she's played against us, but you know, did some research and vid video and analysis about her, and I've watched a lot of her matches with Taylor, right. and they were a good team. Yeah, so I'm excited about it. I mean, you know, I think uh, you know, world team tennis. There's a lot that goes on, you know, on the women. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got some strong women. There's a lot of good teams with good women mm -hmm. in this league, so it's going to be very exciting. And you know, it's a great format, right. great place. Hopefully, we'll get a lot of spectators out to come and support. Well, we're going to be here all week, and we'll definitely be watching. We're wishing you the best of luck. Thank you very much. I am so excited to be here. I just to be here with one half of the Woodies, Mr. Mark Woodford, uh, here at the City Taste of Tennis event. So wonderful to meet you. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing really well. I I'm sorry that it's only one half. I would be feeling a lot more complete if Todd was here as well. Yes. We, we unfortunately don't get to do a, a whole lot of uh, events together these days mm -hmm. where Todd's living full time in Australia and, and I, I live here in the desert. So, okay. um, uh, but you know, it's nice. At least one of us is here, right? Right, right. And I never knew you lived here. I figured you lived in Australia. Yeah, look, I, uh, I decided a long time ago when I was playing that um, it made sense to me and look Todd he had a place here in the US as well mm -hmm. for a period of time but we, we just made those decisions early on that instead of traveling back to Australia when you had down weeks right. it's a long way to travel mm -hmm. right um, to have a place here in the US and I ended up with a place in Europe as well so okay. if I had like a week or two off 
mm -hmm. I had somewhere to go. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, I just maintained my my place here, my, my training base, and mm -hmm. met my wife here, and okay. we, we've got kids, and, you know, we've, uh, you know, raised our, our children here, where Todd, mm -hmm. Todd's wife is Australian, and, mm -hmm. that you know, he ended up moving back to Australia mm -hmm. once he retired from the game, but okay. I stayed here, and I'm loving the, the desert weather. It is amazing here. So, I'm gonna ask you just a couple of quick questions. We're not gonna keep you here all night. Yep. Number one, I've got to know, you and Todd were such a legendary doubles team. Who did you guys hate playing? Wow, um, I think you you know, generally dislike pairs that you don't end up beating. Right. Um, and I think with the success that we enjoyed together, um, which came fairly quickly and early on in our, mm -hmm. our partnership, um, in the end, ultimately, the, the, the biggest opponent or the, the were ourselves. Um, there, were, there were a couple of teams clearly that you know we felt we, we really enjoyed playing against and sometimes look you, you've got to accept defeat right I mean because you're going to lose you're not going to win every match right. um, but there were teams that we felt it was okay to lose to mm -hmm. because if they could that we knew that they could keep stay with us like they could match our level and if we ended up coming in second, it was easy to easier to accept defeat. But I think in general, towards the end, I think our biggest opponents were ourselves because we were setting the standard high. We were number one team for, for many years, breaking records. Um, and so we, we kind of had this legacy. We were trying to be in the history books of, of tennis in, in doubles. And so to try to build upon that that it kind of got heavy there for a while and we had to make sure that we were because we were also playing singles uh, you know most weeks so to try to take care of our our singles that was our priority but then we had to care so deeply about the doubles because there was much more success coming on the doubles court so I think for that's where we had to make sure that we were taking care of ourselves um, that if we were in the right frame of mind, mm -hmm. physically and mentally, then things were going to work well for us on the doubles court. But you know, if it wasn't that, if that wasn't the case, mm -hmm. um, you know, we were going to be, you know, struggling at times on the doubles court. But um, that makes a lot bit of sense. Right. And you know what? I just want to dig into something you just said. You were like, you guys were thinking about making history. At what point in your relationship with Ty did you recognize that you guys had something special? Mm. Well, early early on, I think you very early on we realised that we had something special, and I it doesn't come around uh, um, to a lot of players that you realise that there was something very special. But for us, there was it just clicked. It was almost, I wouldn't say the first match, the first match that we ever played together, yeah. we bombed out, lost first round. Okay. Um, we came off the court like our kind of walking off like not feeling too good right. we were worried that our coach was gonna really blast yell at us for playing badly um, but the second and third time we played together we just quickly realized there was something um, special we we were able to cover for each other we it was just something it was, it was really hard to describe but um, we were able to just build upon that right. and then I think after a couple of seasons as well when we were enjoying the success that we realized that we had a chance to actually not just maintain our number one position in, in doubles but to create something and to to help keep doubles out in the spotlight mm -hmm. I mean we were you know through the time Sampras was trailblazing on the singles court mm -hmm. um, and, and so we were winning tournaments that Sampras were winning tournaments. He was the singles champion. Mm -hmm. Quite often we were being the doubles champion. So um, we, yeah, we, I think in the end, uh, for the last couple of years, we realized that we had a, an opportunity to put our names in the history books. And right. um, so, so winning took on much more of a, uh, you know, a, a, just a, a, a massive, was never an imposition, but, it was like we, we knew we had something to really achieve out there that was 
going to be our legacy. Right. So as a Hall of Famer, okay, we look at Australia tennis now. Yep. I mean, you have Ash Barty, who's at the top of the women's game. You have Alex Divignor, who is really coming yep. up. Yep. You have the very mercurial uh, Nick Curios. Yeah. Speak to us about, uh, you have Isla Tomjanovic, who's yep. playing well lately. What's the state of Australia tennis for you? Well, Australian tennis has through, uh, gone through changes. Right. Um, I think through through our time, through the Woody's time, and that was, you know, through Philippousis, through Rafter, Hewitt. Um, we we had some of the secondary group like Jason Stoltenberg and San and Stolly, Richard Fromberg, and I hope I'm not missing out on you know too many names, but we were servant volleyers. Maybe take Leighton Hewitt out of that group, um, but most of us grew up on faster courts and we learned our trade was that Australian way of playing which was athletic mm -hmm. serve and volley get to net um, you gave everything today's players from Australia they're not serve and volleyers I think in tennis uh, generally uh, tennis terms there's not a whole lot of attacking serve and volley tennis anymore so I, 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 I feel Kind of disappointed that you know when I see um, some of the upcoming up and coming Australian players, they struggle to serve and volley it. But that's because they're not they're not being shown the the ropes. They're not being um, I think passed on that that ability to serve and volley. But I understand that it's a you know the circle of life with tennis. I mean right. we went through a period where you know through that Borg era there weren't too many you know serve and volleyers. Um, and then we had a, a period of time where there were a heck of a lot of serve and volleyers. I think, I think that it's just going through a trend right now with Australian tennis. Having said that, we are in a very healthy state. Ash Barty, number one player in the world. Mm -hmm. Australian women's tennis is going super strong at the moment. Mm -hmm. We just lost in the semi-finals of the Billie Jean King Cup, right. um, which is a great effort for the Australian women. Uh, and of course, on the on the men's side, we've got a couple of youngsters that are. I mean, Alex Demina. I don't know how he does it, um, and and it's like he's a mini Leighton he, Hewitt. That one's getting ready to say that he reminds me of like Leighton Hewitt 2.0. But that's his, you know, that, uh, someone who guides him and and offers so much advice. And mm -hmm. I mean, you know, is there any better teacher um, than than Leighton Hewitt? I mean, right. the number one player for. Uh, you know, um, a couple of seasons and, and multiple Grand Slam champions. So he is uh, someone to, certainly that Alex Semina could could live up to and emulate. But Nick Kyrgios is such an entertainer. Um, oh, I, I, you know, so much talent. And I just hope, you know, hope for him in years to come that he can really, you know, able to focus in a very positive way and have a healthy tennis career. Mark, we appreciate you so much for taking time to speak with us. It was wonderful meeting you. you. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the event. I will, most certainly. Take hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy Isaac. And this is your boy Bryce. And of course, we're Brothers on Tennis, and we are here at the City Taste of Tennis event for World Team Tennis. And Bryce, it has been an incredible, incredible evening, bro. Talk to the folks, man. What, yeah. what, 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 what we've been up to, man? It's been a good night, really. We've had the opportunity to interview some really cool people, yes. which uh, either you're going to see or you've already seen. I'm not sure how we're going to edit this video yet, but however we do it, um, you will have seen those players, and some of them we are huge fans of. Uh, City Taste of Tennis just continues to kill it with the events, right? Dude, their events are so, they're just fire. Straight right. up fire, and I've used fire a lot. You'll see that in interviews <laughs> as well. But this event was straight fire, you guys. It was so incredible. And we love our collaboration with AYS and the City city event. Mm -hmm. It is just extraordinary. And we are just blessed and, 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 and very happy. So tomorrow kicks off World Team Tennis. So we will be bringing you plenty of more interviews uh, from the Indian Wells uh, Tennis Center. And uh, stay tuned, because you know how we do. Come on now. <laughs> All Come right, y'all. Uh, have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye.